Hi there. Thanks for joining CPG Bytes, a series of short video segments from Treasure Data, where we chat about the latest news and industry trends and read between the lines to provide our perspective and insights. So Dave and my friend, what do you have for us this week? Hey, Stephen, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. And you? I'm doing well as well. So, you know, I thought today I found this uh, this article that McKinsey published last week, which I thought was pretty interesting. You know, you and I have talked a lot about direct to consumer and how it's such a great strategy for CPG companies to get into. But I thought this was an interesting angle where they're taking a look at some traps to avoid. Right. Everyone's kind of like jumping into the DTC game, but it's not always smart to maybe just rush headlong into things. And it doesn't just because you jump into something doesn't mean you're guaranteed success. So they they basically lay out these five traps. And what I wanted to do is just focus on a couple of them. Maybe we can talk about some of the other ones in a future uh, discussion, a future CPG bites. But the the first one is they said, don't fall into the trap of leading with a tech focus. And you might be saying, well, wait a sec, we work for treasure data, right? We're a technology company. Of course, you'd want to lead with tech. But you really don't, right? You you basically want to make sure that you're thinking about what the desired business outcomes. What are you trying to accomplish from going to D 2 C, right? Is it is it just going to be a sales channel? Is it an engagement channel? Is it a way for you to do A/B testing of new products? Like what's what's your goal? What are the business objectives? And then work backwards from that so that you ensure that you have the right level of focus because it's not just you know, the old saying of it's people, process, and technology. Don't just focus on technology. You need to focus on the process, what your outcomes are, and then also the people, right? Having the right people in place. And they talk a little bit about that in another trap as well, but making sure you have the right the right people and resources. So I think that that's the, the, the first thing. Then this uh, next one, which is also a, a technology-related, um, you know, they talked about a trap being building a directionless tech stack. And um, I think this is really, really important, you know, from our perspective, from a treasure data perspective, because at the end of the day, treasure data has a CDB platform, right? It's a platform. So you really want to make sure that you're not just, just jumping headlong into something and picking kind of a point solution. You got to be thinking about what's the long-term goal? What's the direction you're taking D to C? And um, you know, one of the things that we do, I think, extremely well is work with our prospects and our clients around their use case roadmap, right? We're not trying to boil the ocean, but we want to start out with a use case that aligns very nicely back to that first point. What's your strategy? What's your business outcome? But once you get that one use case done, then it becomes this agile development where you just continually add more and more use cases on and you have a roadmap that you have that kind of shows where you're going, but you're delivering value all along the way. And I think that that's so, so important is to think about this, this gearbox of value. Each of those use cases has a specific purpose, drives value, and then you leverage that value to pay for kind of the, the next turn of the crank. And so um, I think those are both two really, really good things to focus on. And, you know, we published on a treasure data perspective, we had published last uh, last couple of months ago, I guess it was, this Winning with DTC ebook, which I would suggest, you know, the listeners, um, the watchers of this video, click on the link and, and read this because we talk about a number of ways of addressing some of these, uh, avoiding some of those traps. The one I kind of wanted to focus on the very, very bottom of this, of this white paper, this ebook, is <clears throat> really thinking hard about DTC as this channel for engagement, learning, and data, not just a revenue channel. And obviously engagement, you're engaging with, with, with your end consumers, but it's capturing that first party data that you and I have spoken about before, Stephen, it's important, but it's also this learning, right? In terms of being able to do that, that market research, um, being able to do A-B testing, as I talked about before. What was the quote that we talked about in one of our recent CPG bites that the the, the, the best focus group is people that actually buy your product. I can't remember if that was I think someone from PepsiCo that, that said that. And so again, DTC brings that all together, right? It, think of that really is a channel for engagement, learning, and data. So I would suggest both of these are really good resources for our, for our viewers to take advantage of. Yeah, and, and David, you brought up some really good secrets in the, in the DTC 
um, direction, right? So, so the, what, what I'm getting away is, is don't let technology determine your strategy. It should be the other way around. Let, this, let the technology be your jetpack to go to the next level, but you got to have a direction first. So you can, you can let that jetpack take you to where you want to go. And you know, finally, obviously, just like you said, DTC is, is, is more than just a sales channel, but you use it for all kinds of engagement, um, all kinds of learnings of what your consumer behaviors are, and a really good channel to, to really let you boost up that first party data advantage over others. So, so that's kind of what I'm getting in terms of the secrets of the, of the DTC um, uh, uh, shift, if you will. Exactly, spot on. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, thank you, David, for, for all the DTC insights today. And thank you for joining us. Uh, for more videos like this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the, the bell for all notifications. Do remember to come and download that free DTC ebook that David mentioned. And we'll be back in two weeks with more topics for CPG Bytes. Thank you. Bye-bye. How do you say?